kick niggas like a dean. I suck niggas, I'm a fiend. I swear to God, yo, ho was sucking dick, yeah, now she on the team. All these little niggas on my D. Get the fuck off. Damn. Yeah, that's all I got. Like, damn near forcing me to send me news. Oh, let me tell y'all how I almost got R. Kelly yesterday. So I'm at this event. There are these girls. Now, let me tell y'all why this is wild. I'm going to just tell the story. Now, let me get this out the way. Not R. Kelly. No, no, no. What's it called when they put something in the drink? Bill Cosby. They almost Bill Cosby, the nigga. No bitch almost peed on me. I don't like uh, showers from Zeus. That's not me. <coughs> Matt dysfunction. This is where the two drunk niggas was at. Annoying as fuck. Begging me for Chick-fil-A and all type of other shit. Begging me to get a chance with Celine. I'm watching ads. Nope. So. Now, and it's actually wild. I should really report her bitch ass to the police, but she look good. And my man's just cramming that. So basically, a little while ago, last week, my man, my friends went to a party. I'm not going to say where the party was at, but they went to a party. I was streaming, my nigga, because we locked in. They went to a party. My mans, I don't know if y'all have friends like this, but some people, some guys, are thought magnets. And what I mean by this is they somehow always find the thoughts. You'll be messing with all the respectful hoes, all the bitches that like have some human decency, and then your mans will find a bitch that'll fuck that nigga in the back of the party, in the trailer. Verbatim, word for word, this shit is really happens. Right? So this nigga, he's a thought, he's a thought plug. He knows all the thooters, he knows all the goers. He knows where they at, he knows where they stay, he knows how they act, he knows how to spot one. He finds one last week. He takes her to his car. He fucks. He approaches her. They talk. They probably dance for a little. They go to his car. He hits. Last week, right? So, this upcoming week, apparently... Fuck, they might see this, bro. Hey, it don't matter. You almost Bill Cosby, me, bitch. I'm going to explain to y'all why they probably going to see this, but it don't matter. Anyways. This upcoming week, my man's like, yo, I got this two for you. I got this two for you. Okay. This two man. It was the third friend. I'm like, okay. Yay. Yay. It's lit. I'm like, all right, bet. We could do that. Now, I'm not going to lie. I was dodging it at first because... Um, I don't know. I just don't be feeling like going out, honestly, personally. But you know what? I was like, fuck it. So we went to the spot yesterday that had them there. They're there. At first we had the spot. They're not there yet. They talk about some motherfucking rooftop party. No one cares about that. You feel me? They end up pulling up to where we was at. Now with my mans, I'm with four of my mans. They pull up. Thank you for the sub. I see her. She come up to my mans. I see her friend. Now her friend, to me, did not look like what she looked like in the motherfucking pics. This nigga threw a bad pass, bro. And the pics, maybe I didn't look hard enough. Yo, you got to really do your research. <clears throat> but something was off. Her face ain't look the same. And her teeth was social distancing. So I was like, I'm type cool. Because teeth, teeth is a big thing for me. So, you know, um, leading up to this, let me give y'all some backstory. That was already making me a little cool off it. Thank you for that sub. Randomly, on Wednesday or Thursday, my friend sends me a screenshot of text messages with his girl. A screenshot of guess what? It's a screenshot of me in this room standing next to D. Charles and Goss.
the girl that I was supposed to be getting put on with, her, oh my God, her cousin or brother watched my content. Oh my God, they gonna hear the story. Hey, it's all love, my nigga. It's all love. It's all love. It's all love, bro. But hey. Um, yeah, I'm not stopping here, my nigga. It's D, but hey, you feel me? She was a cool person, so shout out to her. Let's keep going. Right? She sends that to his girl. His girl sends it to my man's. She told she told him to not tell me. Obviously, he gonna tell me. I think you girls think you have authority. No. No, no. Unless you're my girlfriend, anything you say is getting relayed to my niggas. If it's about them, especially if it's about them. So, and it goes both ways, my nigga. Don't tell no girl, oh shit, I got dick cheese, bitch. Now the whole school know you got dick cheese. Now you wonder why you got no hoes on your John your Johnson. Don't tell don't tell them that. Are you dumb? So now, right? She knew this, we're chilling, we're all together, right? This nigga got, this is where, at the spot now. This nigga has his arm around this girl, bro. His. I'm type cool off the other girl. She cool, like she nice. But my nigga, not my speed personally. Which is I. And you know, I was, I don't like, I don't like when girls know what I do. It's just weird. I don't like it. I don't like it. I prefer not. If they already know me, then it is what it is. But I kid you not. A nigga walk in the party. Do, 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 do. As he's walking by my mans and the girl he was chilling with and me, he looks in their direction and this nigga says, don't do it. He keeps walking and says, don't do it again. Shaking his head. Take it out sub only. Nigga said, he said, W Riz. Why would he, why would he say W Riz? You do realize niggas don't use that word in real life if you above the age is 18, right? No one says that. If a bit hit me with, if I go up to a girl, I say, what's your name and shit, talking to her, and she say, ooh, W Ritz? Come on, bruh. Don't say that fucking dumb ass shit. Now, this nigga says, don't do it. I look at my mans, I start giggling. Now, these two girls is drunk off. Maybe, Taylor Port. I don't drink, so I don't know, you feel me? They drunk off Taylor Port. So I'm like, okay, my nigga. Cool. We walk away from them because there's more things to do in this party. When we in the front, I do. I'm 22. Oh, yeah, get them out. <clears throat> they back with us. We all together. We're talking. My mans end up going with my other friends. Now I'm just with the two girls. We vibing. You know, it's cool. His girls start twerking on me. I, like I'm not even trolling. This whole time she keep asking me, do I drink? Do you drink? Do you drink? It's the weirdest shit ever. I said, no, 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 no. I'm cool. I don't drink. She's trying to pour the bottle in my mouth. I said, no, I don't drink. Like, damn near pouring it on me. I'm like, what are you? She just start twerking on me, bro. Like, I, 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 I was, I've never been that uncomfortable in my life. Now, was I break? Probably. But you feel me? It, it didn't last long. But she just started twerking on me. I'm like, what the fuck? This my man's your mean. So I'm like, okay. Like, what do I do here? I'm like, what the fuck? This bitch just twerked on me. So I'm like, like I'm damn near astonished. I'm like, whoa, I just say, whoa. Now, welcome me, good or bad. It meant good and bad. Because I'm getting twerked on. But my nigga just killed this in his backseat first night last week. She forcing me to drink Taylor Port, both of them. They for, they trying to force the bottle on me. I'm like, what the fuck going on? More of the story, nothing happened. My mans ended up getting neck and shit, but bro. Why did that happen, bro? That is wild. Imagine the reverse. Imagine I go up to a bit, right? Imagine I go up to a bit. She's the, oh! Imagine I go up to a bit, she just standing there, I take her, I bend her over. Just bend her over. What the fuck is that? Imagine that. I might be gay. I might be gay. Okay, so your horny ass gonna let that tip think for you? You thinking with the wrong head. 
this your man's and you so horny for a bitch, you gonna fuck with her behind your man's back? Come on, my nigga. Anyways, though. Um, yeah, bro. So, more of the story. You feel me? Uh, I was like, okay, I'll be back. Ha ha. Went to my man's. I told him, I'm like, hey, gang, the signs ain't adding up. The nigga walked by and said, uh, don't do it. She twerked on me. And then I, after I said, whoa, she was like, oh, I ain't mean it like that. Which way you mean it? Which way you mean it? Like, I don't understand that, bro. I don't understand that. Because then, bro, that's that, that's the type of girl you cuff. You cuff. I mean, when you cuff her, she'll fucking nigga and then say, I ain't mean it like that. You ain't mean it like that. That dick was in your throat. You ain't mean it, though. You ain't mean it. Oh, you ain't mean it. Like, that don't make no sense. So that shit triggered me. So I'm like, okay, I'm just listening to her. I'm like, okay, okay. I go back to my man's. I tell him. He said he didn't care if I did nothing. But at that point, especially because I said, whoa, because, you know, you feel me? Um, it was it was all his, though. I, you feel me? It was D. Like, she she wouldn't, um, she was dead back on that nigga dick type shit, if y'all get what I'm saying. So, yeah, you know. But, yeah, bro, that was very odd. I got sexually harassed type shit. He ain't care. No, no, no. It's not his girl, bro. It's not his girl. It's not his girl. Bro, it's not his girl. Y'all on some childish shit. Come on, bro. He don't he don't care about her. But personally, uh, not on niggas like that. I don't want no niggas fucking no bit I was fucking with personally. But some niggas don't care. If that makes sense. But yeah, bro. That's the story. Damn. That's not even the first time I got sexually harassed, though. But Shit crazy, bro. It's an evil world, bro. Let's keep going. But the Bill Cosby shit, wow. Why are you forcing Taylor pour down my throat? Like, what is that? 